Hey kids, I am sorry I can't be there today, I really am. Uh, I'm sick, but I'm not COVID sick, but I'm still not supposed to come into work because I'm sick. Uh, so I'm home, uh, and usually I'll do better quality videos than this, but my nice camera's at school. In fact, you can see it up there next to my desk. So instead, this is just on my laptop. Uh, I just want to give you guys a quick heads up what you're doing today, even though I'm not there with you. There's three assignments right here in Canvas for you. The first one is just a daily journal. Uh, I know that the daily journal prompts are getting increasingly silly, um, but the purpose of the daily journals isn't what you write about, it's how you write about it. Use it as an opportunity to practice using good spelling, using good grammar, using proper punctuation, and just doing those basic fundamental things right. And whatever you write about doesn't really matter as long as you're practicing those basic skills. So every class, that's why we start off doing those kind of like warm-ups, just getting those basic fundamentals out of the way. So yeah, write about whatever, but always make sure you're doing the best you can to do those basics just as well as you can. Uh, today, there's two assignments in here on reader response criticism. Uh, I wanted to do new criticism next, but uh, I'm not there with you, and I really want to do that one with you in person. So if you don't mind, you're going to put that off until uh, Wednesday when I plan on being there, fingers crossed, uh, and you're going to do reader response today. Um, let me give you a quick summary of all the criticisms, even though you guys are super smart and I know you remember them. Uh, we have done historicism, which is using the history of a time period to better understand a story. Uh, we've done biographical criticism, which is using uh, information from the author's life to understand what they wrote. We talked about new criticism, which is studying just the internal characteristics of the thing itself. And now today we're doing reader response, which in its cheaper, easier form is how you, the reader, respond to the story, and more importantly, why. What is it from your background in history that makes you respond to the story that way? So for today's assignments, just think about it from your own perspective. Now, because you're smart, I'll tell you that reader response criticism is actually a little more complicated than that. It has to do with how we can imagine how different readers would respond to the same thing. But for today, just keep it simple and focus on yourselves. Um, there's two assignments. The first one, reader response intro, is super easy and it's just two questions. One asks you to define it in your own words, and another asks you to find uh, an example of when you use this. And that would be pretty uh, easy to do. It's just a time where you have had to interpret something and your interpretation was different than somebody else's because of what you've gone through. So maybe any time you've seen a movie uh, with your parents and they're focused on what the parents are going through in the movie and you're focused on what the kids are going through in that movie. Does that make sense? Today I was watching the Phineas and Ferb movie on Disney+. Plus. Um, it's, I liked it. It's a good movie. And I'm sure that if kids watched it, they might see themselves in Candace's position. I found myself in the position of, um, oh shoot, what's that stupid platypus's name? What's the platypus's name? I don't remember because I have sick brain. But I kept thinking like, oh, I'm kind of like the platypus because I'm in a different stage of life right now. Um, that's a silly example because most of you haven't seen that movie. But I guess you've seen the TV show. Uh, and then the second one assignment, this is really your bigger work for today, um, and it's going to be worth 15 points, which is a good number of points. Um, it's going to ask you to pick a song and then to analyze it using reader response criticism, which should be, of all the things that we've done so far, the easiest, because it asks you to think about why you appreciate the song, but the harder part is to get introspective and to think about what things in your life make you read the song that way. And you're gonna have to write a short little essay. I don't know if this is short to you, but it's 250 words and that's pretty short. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions, you can feel free to shoot me something and I might be able to answer. If not, I really do miss you guys and I will see you on Wednesday as long as I'm feeling better. Is that okay? Any questions? No?